In today's Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom, you're going to learn what to do with pain in your story once you've found it. What exactly should you do with this so you, you have the best chance of helping your audience? In the last two videos, we've talked about pain. Remember, we hurt the ones we love. I love my audience. I'm here to help you by hurting you, or at least having you uncover your own pain. Two days ago, we talked about when it, the right time is to share your painful message. Yesterday, we talked about following the pain. Today is all about staying in the pain. One of the biggest mistakes that I see speakers make when they're sharing their stories is they rush through the low point of their stories. What does this mean? Well, take my story of being in first grade and standing on a desk as punishment uh, during nap time one day. If you've not heard that story, the short version is I got in trouble one day. Uh, it was raining outside. During lunch, I decided to hop up on my desk. Uh, this was in 1969, right after Apollo 11 had landed on the moon. I thought I was an astronaut in first grade, so I wanted to advance my uh, astronaut ambitions. I stood on a desk. Mrs. North, my teacher, didn't agree with my aspirations, so she made me stand on top of a desk during nap time to punish me. That was a humiliating experience, so much so that when I stepped down after being in front of my classmates and they're taunting, they're silently taunting me, I promised myself I'd never stand in front of a group again because that was so embarrassing. That held me back for 25 years. And when I used to tell that story, I would talk about, as almost like a disinterested third party, how I was punished in first grade and I had to stand on a desk and that was humiliating. Well, I wasn't really creating an emotional connection with the audience. What I do now is I set it up and then I talk about how I stood up on that desk. And, and what do you think my supportive, loving friends were doing? If you said they were silently taunting me, you're correct. They were sitting there. And it was awful. The longer I stood there, the more I wanted to shrink and disappear. If the earth had swallowed me up, I would have been happy. By the time Mrs. North looked up at me and said, you can get down now, Michael, I stepped down off that desk and I promised myself, you will never stand in front of a group of people again. That was embarrassing. Don't ever do that again. And I didn't for the next 25 years, if I could help it. Could you feel the difference? Now, I know you couldn't see me visually because kind of, I'm cut off from the, in this video from the kind of the shoulders up, but I physically recreate standing on that desk and shrinking and looking down and feeling like I just want to be anywhere but here. I've had people tell me, been there before, Michael, <laughs> I know that feeling. Maybe they didn't stand on a desk, but they were humiliated in front of people. That affected their willingness to stand in front of a group. That's what we mean by staying in the pain. Lou Heckler, who is a Hall of Fame speaker with the greatest name for a speaker ever, Lou Heckler, I love it. He says that you don't want to retell the story, you want to relive it. When you retell it, you don't create connection. You may create some empathy. When you retell it, you create empathy, sympathy, bonding, and connection because people feel for you. And in that moment, as you've heard in a previous video, you're not really telling your story, you're telling theirs. Because in that moment, they're reliving their own painful experience. That's where the connection is made. I'm not going to lie to you on this video and say, oh, this is great fun. It's not fun to relive painful experiences. But as you heard two videos ago, if you've moved past the point of where it's therapy on stage and you've resolved it and you're ready to retell it, don't rush through it. As one of my coaches says, you can't rush and resonate. Stay in the pain. Let the audience feel that situation and that, that, those particular circumstances. And they will connect with you at a deeper level than any other speaker they've ever heard. 
and they're much more likely buy into your message. I hope you've enjoyed these last three videos about pain. Tomorrow we'll speak about something a little bit lighter. I don't know, politics. Not. All right, we'll talk to you tomorrow on our daily dose of public speaking wisdom.